Hello and welcome to my allotment journey. My name is Sarah and I'm so pleased that you clicked on this link to have a little bit of nosy about what I get up to at the allotment. I've had my allotment for two years but I never documented it apart from pictures. I took hundreds and hundreds of pictures but I never videoed it. But I'm two years in now and I want to show you my allotment because I'm going to make some big, big changes and you are going to help me. You're going to advise me because I'm a novice. A novice, novice at best, to be honest. Also, I work with children and sometimes I bring them down in the day. So I've got a fabulous play area at my allotment. It's only small, but the kids can grow stuff. Um, they can chop stuff up, make things at the mud kitchen and generally have a good, a good time there out in the fresh air. So yeah, I've got a lovely little play area. I do actually have other YouTube channels as well. Uh, nothing to do with the allotment, but I'll tell you anyway. It's uh, Manchester Mudlarks, which is a mudlarking channel. And I have found pottery here, actually, so it sort of ties in nicely. Um, and uh, Beyond the Veil, which is a paranormal channel. Please check it out. Links below. This is nothing... My allotment channel has nothing to do with those channels, but I thought you might like to check them out anyway. Um, and Manchester Mudlarks gets crafty. All the links will be down below. Take a look. You might like... You know, it might be something that you you like to watch, I don't know. But yes, um, please join me at the allotment. I've had this plot now, I'm going to say, for two years. Coming up to two years. And I've I had to level it all off. Okay, just give you a quick run through because it looks a bit messy at the minute. I had to level it all off. It was a bit higher this side than it was that side. And I put all the, that down. I did beds, but now I'm moving the beds around. Okay, so I'm just going to briefly show you. So this bed was that way, as you can see by all the debris from the wild flowers that flowered there. And I want to put it that way. Okay, that bed is as is, so is that one. So, and then I had three here. So I had one here, one there, and one there. And now I'm moving them, because I want one there, one there, this, and then it creates a path straight through there, like that. And then I'm gonna have the third one here. Okay, because I want to do a pumpkin arch there, hopefully. But I've got a lot to do, I've got a lot to do. Um, I, the first big job outside here will be to put these beds in and level it all off again, etc, etc. But um, before I do big jobs like that, I have to tackle this. There was a big storm and the old polytunnel blew off completely and ripped. All the contents were all over the floor. I have quickly just picked a lot of the stuff up when it happened, but that's a mess. That's a mess. As you can see, I've got a great children's area, like I said before, great children's area here, where you've got mud kitchen, where they can cut leaves and petals and all sorts of things, and make all sorts of lovely things. You've got here where they, they grow the things, they put plant pots on there and grow things. They also can just play, there's a sandpit. See, there's sandpit there. It all needs a bit of a tidy from the winter, and we've got a bug hotel as well. Bug hotel here. But, there's and a dino, dino land, but it's a little bit messy now because you know I haven't really brought the children here yet because it's a bit too cold. But you know what? It's a great little space, it really is. It's a lovely little spot for them. Yeah, but that's no delusions of grandeur. I thought I'd have a big shed come summer house, and I didn't. I just got a big polytunnel because it was a fraction of the price. There you go. Oh, right, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to film me tidying this up, it's pretty boring watching someone tidy up. Um, that soft plate is actually going to a, another allotment where um, my friend has small children, so she'll be using that. I just need to sort out the tools and everything and where that can go and, you know, just throw away things and just basically tidy things up. So, oh, I'll tell you what we can do, I'll tell you what, let's do a little, a nice little job before we do the boring tidying job. And that is to secure these on the outside of the polytunnel. Right, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of these things. I've got me no riffraff sign here. These were all on the outside of the tunnel that was up before. So I just want to pop them back. There, bit of glue. 
Oops. This is E6000. It glues everything and anything when it doesn't get bunged up. Right, let's get, let's get that stuck on the outside of the tent. I mean polytunnel, not tent. Okay, most important one, no riffraff. Right, I just need two hands for that. I've just had to put some tape on just to hold it on until the glue sets. Ooh, this one's got double-sided sticky tape on. We'll see how well that lasts. Might stick a bit of glue on as well for when that sticky tape fails. Right, there we go, big blob in the middle for when that tape fails. Let's go and stick that on. Okay, where should we put this? Where should we put this one? Here. All right, it's another two-handed job. I'll do that one, I'll do the other one, and I'll bring you back. Okay, there you go, slightly bodged, but looking a lot better. Doing a nice little job of putting the metal signs up and the little no riffraff sign. Perfect. Okay, so you don't want to see me tidy up, so what I'm going to do is, as if by magic, I'm going to tidy up, and it's going to go from this to this. It's actually another day now. I had to go um, and do some other stuff. So it's another day and unfortunately it's a wet day. <laughs> it's been raining and it's gone colder. But yeah, there's still jobs in hand that I need to do. So the first job that I'm going to be tackling today is these three beds here. And what I need to do is I need to put these beds in. I think I said it, said it earlier. Put these beds in here and then get all the soil get it level so I can re-establish the path. I probably will do that but with that probably what I'm going to do is just chuck it on there for now unless I've got time to do that one as well but I'm definitely my plan is to do, not to do the arch because I've still got to build the arch there's another arch there so my pumpkin arch I can wait for another day but this is where it's going to go so I need to do those three beds so the first thing that I'll need to do is to tie string to that and at the other end so that I can get them level Okay, so I'm going to tie it to this end, and then I'm going to go up there and tie it to the other end. <clears throat> and of course it just tangles up because, well, why would it just want to unravel? Why would it just want to normally unravel? Oh gosh. Yeah, this is what I mean. Just nothing just goes straight and straight forward, does it? Right, come on. I think I've got the wrong end of the twine, not to worry. Right, okay, okay. Right, I think you can. Right, let's cut a bit of this string that doesn't want to play. I think I should have took that end. Never mind. Okay, what I've realised is, because I'm an idiot, is that that line is the inside of the bed and not the outside of the bed, because I haven't got anything to attach it to the outside. So, so what I'm going to do is, I am going to <laughs> think it doesn't have to be exact. It's an allotment; doesn't have to be exact, does it? Right, let's just put those beds up to that line, cut it out, and see how we go from there.
Right, okay, one bed done. Okay, that one's done. See, that's ready for the membrane, as is that. That's done. So I'm just going to do the same with this one and this one. Okay, I'll bring you back when it's finished. You know what digging looks like. And to be honest, I've just got visions of you just catching me bum in the air all the time. So, <laughs> so you don't have to do that. You don't have to witness that. Right, I've done them now. I've done all three. Uh, and my friend is here and brought me some drink and something to eat. So I'm going to have a bit of a break. But there you go. That's that one. That's very sandy, that one. Um, I'm going to have to add something to it. I don't know what because I don't know what I'm doing. I'll add something to that though. Done this one. There you go. I've done that one. And then I just need to put them the uh, membrane down on here on the path and I'll do that after I've had something to drink and eat but so far so good looking a lot better okay so the next one I'm going to do is this bit here I've started digging already I've dug the bulbs up because they'll, be, they'll probably never ever grow again but you know what I'm going to replant them anyway so I'm just going to dig either side there either side there so I can get this frame down here and then I can start weeding getting the grass and put it in the middle getting the grass getting the soil put it in there and do some weeding etc membrane as per usual then when i've done this one i can then put the membrane down on all the rest of it okay well that's more or less in position um, that's enough for today i think i need to stake in the corners i've done that one but the other corners need staking in and obviously I need to get rid of all that level it off get rid of all that level it off put the soil in here dig that over got to dig them all over and i need some compost for that don't i right because it's very soily right so there you go what I'd meant to do for today has been done. Right, I filmed this over a few days actually, so I'm wearing different clothes, but um, I only have so much time here at the allotment at one go. So um, the sun's going to go down in an hour, and what I want to do is I want to get all that off, put it in there, weed, uh, get all the weed membrane up that's in there if there's any in there, and then I want to give this a sweep all up here. I want to get a new bit of um, weed membrane laid on there as well the weeding not so important as getting the weed membrane down on there where I took it up and down there My idea is I need the path doing. I need the path doing before I can weed and concentrate on the bed. So, get to office. So in my madness, I am just getting it all in there. Worrying about the green stuff later. I can weed that. It's this path that's most important. Okay, that's done. Worry about weeding that another time. Okay, give it a quick sweep. Um, I was just going to patch these bits up, right? But you know what? I think I'm just going to, it's been, this has been down for two years, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a whole fresh bit up here, down there. I think it's two metres wide, so I might just be able to do that, or that one might need patching from there, I'm not sure. But basically, it's going to have a fresh run all the way up there. I might as well, I've got it, so I think I'll do it. Gonna have to make sure actually I've got enough to go all the way to the end <laughs> so I'm just gonna check it see if I've got enough to take it all the way to the end I do so there you go I will fix that and I will go down there with it and I might not do them bits actually don't need to do them bits I'll just go up here with it all along here I'll just oh, unfold it because that's actually double width it will fold out again and go over that bit there and then just take it to the end and cut all the excess off and use that wherever but yeah let's get cracking
so I think what we'll do is I'm going to peg all along this right hand edge first to get that secure so that when I'm moving it over and cutting it I'm not pulling it out of place because you know I'm professional <laughs> not I'm just doing a lot on this edge because it's this edge you step up onto so I could do without tripping up and killing myself on that. Okay, right, let's, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go all the way on that edge up there and then I'm going to flip it over, flip the other half over and start cutting. But yeah, I'm going to put a few along here, another one on there because that's, that's the the trip hazard there coming onto the plot okay and I will actually take you for a walk around the plot not today but yeah you'll certainly go for a walk this is a beautiful plot in the middle of woodland it's fabulous honestly beautiful but for now I'm gonna be pegging all the way up there okay I've done that up down that one side now I am gonna leave this end um I'll secure it somehow but I'm leaving oh should I because I am actually cutting away that there and this here so you can I, eventually I'm cutting away this because it's a like a mound in between really um so it's a straight run through so I'm tempted to leave the end of that on I don't we'll see how it goes you know I changed my mind right I'm just going to peg the rest of it now oh sun's going down it's beating me it's beating me today I'll, I'll show you what I've done so far look it is looking better already but I've only got as far as doing that I need to do this bit here and this bit here and then I'll dig out and do the pathway through there but you know what it looks a lot better already doesn't it? it looks a lot better already and obviously attach this one as well okay but like I say the sun has beaten me today, it's going down, so I might as well say that's enough for this video. I don't know if this is one video, two videos, I just don't know. I've just been filming and filming and Mick has been doing my editing for me. So thank you so much for watching. You know, keep tuning in because I've got loads to do on here, loads and loads. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, please offer advice but not criticism <laughs> because, you know, I'm not doing everything or anything correctly. I'm doing it my way. Okay, just sort of uh, winging it, really. So thank you so much for watching. And um, you'll see how this progresses on the next one.